Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today, I have a neat little box that I've scored, and I thought we should have a look at that. Uh, first, I'm gonna explain, kind of try and explain what it actually is. It has some connections. There's a power plug right here. That takes from 100 and, hmm, 120 to 250 volts AC in there. And that can come out here and here, so you can control two things. It has an internet connection right there, a LAN connection it is actually. And it has a USB charging connection right there, a bit odd, but that's for charging something out of the box. It would be rather neat if you could control something with this USB connection instead of just being a charging port, but well, they decided on that. This device is meant for, you can connect it to your network and you can remotely turn on and off stuff from these plugs. But it has a really nice and special feature. You can actually have it feel the internet. If it loses connection to some servers that you can put in there, like Google or Bing or like big web servers, if it loses connections to those, it will think that the router has died and it will turn on and off one or both of these. So you can connect it to your router, it check the internet connection, and if it loses internet connections, it will reboot your router. This is really awesome if you're into Dell servers, right? I'm kidding. <laughs> so my idea is that we go into the living room and test this because, well, power outlets and stuff. And I was just hoping on actually just connecting the lamp or something like that. So, so I found a nice place to test it here right next to my big TV. So I think we can have it turn on and off the TV and maybe play that this is my router. It's not a router, it's Android TV box. But well, we might just play with this. I also have this very nice little lamp that we can put in. Uh, we can put that in number two. Number two. And we will take something over here. Let's just, let's take the TV. That's the TV. And plug that in. Cool. I can of course turn on and off the devices. Was that the TV? It didn't go out. Oh, there it is. I can of course turn on and off devices. So if I press these buttons and hold it, it will turn on. So now number two is on and I can turn it off again like that. So we can of course turn on and off stuff just by pressing it but that's not magical at all right. But up here we have the internet connection and it's blinking so it means that we can use this so I can turn this on And that will light up blue and now the internet connection is all green which means that the box is pinging that from time to time checking how long that takes so let's turn on this light there and this light is going to represent our, our router now so right now the router is it's fucking up so um, it just lost connection to the internet and the box will try and reboot the router. It takes a bit, about 20 seconds, before it realizes that, well, the internet connection is not there and it will turn off and turn on. So that would be the router rebooting or your Dell server. <clears throat> if you're into Dell servers, I, I'm sure you can see the benefits of this. But that's not the only thing this device can do. It has an internet connection. So let's go see what else is on here because it has its own web server as well. So we can go see that. Okay, here I am at my web browser and computer. And as you can see, Denmark, we have our own version of Google. Um, I have checked with my DHCP server. I found the IP number. The little switch device is apparently on DHCP. So it had number 13. So let's go to number 13. 13. 
And to get in, you have to be administrator. And that's just admin, there is no password. And here we can see the target IPs that it's checking. So it's right now it's checking for Google, Yahoo, Bing and Ask and the IP number. And it's checking itself as well. If that's okay, I don't know what it uses that for. But over here we can see the different functions. There's outlet 1, that is off. And there is outlet 2, that is on. So that's the one where my little light is in. And the other one is for the TV. And the TV is off. Okay. I don't know if I can do this smart. Maybe I can point the web camera so we can actually see it. I should have thought about that. But nevertheless, I can just press here and it will ask me if I want to turn it on. And it goes on. And yes, there is power on the TV. We can power on and off the, the outlets here. Powered off, right? So now there is no light in the little light. But there is a lot of features that you can do here. Right now we are on current status. There is system status. We get when this device was powered on, the default gateway, the the DNS servers, and the time server. It, it gets its own time. It's awesome. It gets it from Windows. That's kind of weird. Then there is configuration. You can go in and you can you can decide which websites it's it pings. So if Yahoo is not the right for you. If this was your web server, like you wanted to make sure that your web server is on all the time, if the web server stops responding, well, you might have something that you wanted to reboot. So that would be an option. Down here, there is timeout settings. How long does it wait before doing different stuff? Set time out for each website slash IP addresses, three seconds, number of continuous timeout before outlet reset. So um, this is to make sure that it don't reboot all the time, but only when it's pretty sure that the internet is down. Down here we can set we can set some names for the outlets and some more delay stuff. Okay, it, it can reset once a day. It can power on delay between one and two and it can make an outlet power reset delay. That's probably the two seconds we saw when it powered off. It waited two seconds and then it powered on again. Uh, that's an awesome thing. Very nice to have. Let's go further. We have a schedule. We can have it power on and off every day of the week. We can set different schedule tasks for the outlets, uh, both outlets, or we can use outlet one or outlet two. Let's see, the, the light is an outlet number two, so we could do that. And we could do reset, and we could do that once, that's today. And what's the time? It's So we could set that to 30, and add. So that's a scheduled task. It might be something more advanced that we wanted. I could see me using this for my water pump in the basement and setting that to every day and make sure that it, it turned on and off for 15 minutes every second hour or something like that. So that's the schedule. I'll delete this again before I forget that it's there. Deleted. Network. There's a lot of network settings. I set up the, the name of the device. It took the IP number itself from my DHCP server. It sees the default gateway. It obtained a DHCP address. You could use this manual static one. Uh, DNS servers, automatic. The port address. And it also does dynamic IPs if you need that. Awesome. Email. It can send you an email when the status of the switches has changed. I'm not going to set that up. Account. Uh, this is for the login of this web page. You can set different accounts. Right now it's only the admin. There is a viewer and an administrator. Uh, yeah. Google Talk. Apparently this is now Hangout, Google Hangout, but you can actually make an account on Google Talk slash Hangout and you can use the chat in Google Hangout to turn on and off the switch. Uh, I've seen it. it. 
I don't think it's fantastic. It's kind of weird. You have to make a Google Hangout account or Google account for your Switch. And then you have to, to type in the message to turn off outlet number one, turn off outlet number I don't, uh, yeah, you can do it. I don't think it's, I don't think it's awesome. I would much rather they made an app or just made a web page. You could actually just make this web page go on your telephone. That would be easy. So let's see system time. Oh, it's is that the right time zone for me? It's actually not. I'm in this time zone. Okay, so we'll apply on that. Cool. Yes. So time, daylight savings time, auto restart system, every blah, blah, blah. Not important. Language. Um, I think I'm good with English here. Event lock. Here is where we can see when the switch has been turned on and off. We could try that. We could just go current status and we could turn off outlet number two and we can go into the lock and we have another event. Awesome. And there's about tab. It says the firmware version, the hardware version, the serial number. And down here is who makes it. That's nice. I thought it was really funny that it's called Mega System Technologies. That's just a little bit overwhelming, isn't it? So, so it's, it's really a nice little awesome box with a lot of functionality if you need that. Just want to show you the last little thing. I um, put in the web address on my phone, so now I can actually just press a button and turn on the lights. I thought that was pretty cool. Turn on the TV. Oh, you can't see that. It's just a blue light on the TV right there. So let's um, shut that light off again, shall we? Takes up too much power. That's awesome, isn't it? Well, this was a little look into this little box, which I actually think is pretty cool. I just have to find something to use it for. I don't really use Dell servers, so <laughs> sorry, Dell people just teasing you. I will uh, link it in the description. This is not sponsored or anything. I just thought it was pretty cool and um, it was not being used anymore. So I nailed it. It's always nice to have a little device laying around for that special occasion. So, um, well, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.